Hello guys, I'm back. Um, I wanted to do a reading this time on the boule. Um, and I'll have some links below so you can have a little bit of information about who the boule is. But essentially the boule is like the black Illuminati. And I wanted to do this reading because, I don't know, I'm really interested in conspiracy theories. And you know, I'm into the whole uh, celeb gossip thing and it's still, it's just really interesting to me when um, celebs especially just kind of rise to fame to a certain level out of nowhere. And I always feel like, I don't feel like, you know, it's coincidences in the world and things like that. So I just started doing some research about the boule and essentially they were like, um, they kind of started from the Masons and they were like the boys. He, he like started the Black Boule, and they were like, um, kind of like the best of the best out of black people, like doctors and lawyers and people and politicians and people that had power. Oh, also, sorry for this jacket, I'm always cold. And um, so he started it, and then from there kind of, I don't know if you know anything about the Masons, um, so it kind of went from like the Masons to the Black Boule, and then like um, sororities and fraternities. And you know, they kind of do, I don't know if you know anything about the Illuminati or if you believe in Ill Illuminati, but I believe in that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I don't believe in coincidences. I don't think that people just get lucky. I just think it's something else that um, happens to people that allows them that to have this uh, prosperity and to get into certain positions in life. So I wanted to do a reading on the boule and just see, you know, kind of like what the energy is around it. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm doing the reading. Like I said, I'll have some links below about that you can actually um, take a look at and really find out what the boule is. Because I'm really not going into, you know, depth about who they are and how they started. But I actually saw a YouTube video about a month ago um, about them. And, you know, it's just like, it's just like all that kind of stuff is just tied into like religion and spirituality and a cult. I, I honestly, and another reason why I got really interested in it is because I believe that celebrities are into... The stuff that I'm into, actually. <laughs> Tarot and astrology and occult and um, law of attraction. I, I feel like it's all kind of tied in together. And I feel like um, I believe that I do believe that celebrities do sacrifices and all kinds of stuff just to get, you know, ahead in life. Um, and I'm in, a, I'm in a tarot group and we have discussions like this about... Um, why like why some celebs don't get that big and why some get really big and if you know if like if you're into symbolism um a lot of celebs um they have a lot of symbolism around them whether it's on their clothes whether it's in the poses that they do and i don't know i was just interested in it you know just to see what it's like it's just like secret societies and stuff you know what i mean um, sororities and fraternities I'll probably get a lot of <laughs> I'll probably get a lot of dislikes for um, probably even doing this video but I don't care you know I just feel like it's interesting so I wanted to do a reading just to see like what's the energy behind the boule because I mean honestly you don't have to be a celeb to get into that world a few like about 15 years ago when I was still living in Philadelphia, that's where I'm originally from, um, I met a guy, he was from, he was a black guy, and he lived like, if you're, any, if you're familiar with Pennsylvania, he lived like outside of Philly, in this town called Villanova, which is like majority white, but his parents, they were both lawyers, and he said that his parents wanted he and his two siblings to date black people, so... They put them in this uh, group for wealthy black kids called Jack and Jill. And that's kind of like, if, you, if you're if you interested in the boule and, you know, you read about it and you're like, oh, wow, you, you can actually be part of that world. Um, if you have the means, financial means, you can um, put your child in, like, uh, 
Jack and Jill and those kind of organizations, and they're all tied into the Boule. They're like the talented tenth of black people. They're the well-to-do black people, business owners, doctors, lawyers, politicians. They all, you know, mingle together. And, you know, then some of them just go on and to be into Hollywood. You know what I mean? So they have, like, Hollywood folks, and then they have, like, regular rich people. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm doing this video, and I hope you find it interesting. So let's see what's going on. Let me see if I can try to fix this a little bit. All right. So I'm going to use my favorite tarot deck, which is the Spellcasters Tarot. And then I'm going to, I'm also going to use the Lenormand deck. Let's see. One second. So yeah, you know, if you, this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you for visiting. Um, please comment, like, subscribe. Um... I'm definitely, you know, like I said, I'm trying to do more videos and trying to be more active, but you know, it's, uh, it's hard to kind of fit the fun stuff in. So, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. All right, let's see. What is the energy behind the boule. All right, let's see. Ooh, we got the bear. And when I think of the bear, when I think of the bear, I think of um, like strong foundation. I think of um, being able to overcome obstacles. Um, I think of just being strong, having weight behind you, having a foundation, having like uh, power, like, you know, just being powerful, just being able to knock things out of your way, um, knock people and things and trees and all kinds of stuff, not being able to knock obstacles out your way, um, you know, uh, like, um, all right, so kind of like um, having the ability to uh, get through obstacles. When I see the bear, it's like you, when you have bear energy, um, it's like being able to just knock things around, being able to step on things, you know, step on um, people and things that are smaller than you. Um, you know, like having this kind of respect. Like this, you know, and this bear has like a fish in its mouth and it's, it's walking on water. So like, just like having that power to command things around you and to, I mean, to walk on water, like, like to do the impossible. Um, so that's what I see, well, that's what I feel when I see the bear. So like, to me, that, that would be like, um, the general energy of like the boule they just powerful powerful they have you know people in their path are scared they they can get people to scatter out of their way they can get obstacles to scatter out of their way um they you know they're they're you know they they can chew on the little guy they can um you know take control of the little guy um if someone threatens their, you know, threatens their existence or um, threatens their agenda, they can do the impossible things. It seems almost like they could walk on water. That's how powerful they are. And they could just chew you up and spit you out. That's, to me, that's like the general energy of the blue light. So let's see what else the cards can say about the boule <clears throat> because if you notice like with celebrities okay if you do research about the boule it's like you you if you're if you're part of this world you have to they they have an agenda for you they have a map for you and if you go against that agenda if you piss someone up higher in this you know society and this school of thought if you piss someone off the power that they gave you 
before you were their friend and they gave you this power and they gave you these positions and they um, let you see certain things and have certain things. But if you get in their way, you're, you're like this fish. You know what I mean? You're like this fish in their mouth. And they can chew you up and spit you out. That's how it is. And it's not just, you know, these are just, I mean, it's powerful. It's like, these people are powerful. These are people, these people part of this uh, society, um, this, you know, black Illuminati or this secret society. These are regular people that you're seeing every day. These are judges in your county courts. These are police officers. These are, I mean, probably teachers and doctors and lawyers and accountants. This is, you know, it, it's that vast. It's not just Hollywood people. It's not just celebs and musicians. Like, those are the ones that you really see on the forefront. But you, you have people in this boule on a day-to-day -day basis that are making decisions for your life. They're very powerful people. And if you, and I feel like I was just having this discussion with someone, and I feel like, if you are, like, especially down in the South, because I live in the South, I live in Georgia now, um, and if you are a black person living in the racist South, you want that protection. You might not get up as high in the boule or in the black Illuminati as, like, a, you know, one of these musicians or actors or actresses. You might not get up that high. You might not have that much money. You might not have that much power. But if you can have your little network in your own neighborhoods and communities if you get into that circle. So it's not possible for a day-to-day -day person to get into these things, but you have to go through certain things. And what happens is as long as you go with the status quo and as long as you do what you're told and you don't make waves and you follow their agenda, you will be good and you'll have that protection. And you're the kind of person that, um, you know, you get stopped by the cops, but you're in this organization, you can make a call to a judge, a lawyer, this and that and the other, and say, oh, I, I can get you, you know, I can have you fired. You know, that's the kind of power that these people have. Um, but of course, like musicians and celebs and things like that, they, of course they have more power. But you'll know when, you'll know when a celeb has pissed, uh, you know, these top, people these people that you don't see off because they fall from grace like a prime example of somebody that probably has pissed these people off is Nicki Minaj and even though she probably is not you know she's not ever she's had success she has a major success but the way they if you really watch the media and you're not biased towards like certain people the way that they are trying to badmouth her and try to make her look bad, she has pissed somebody, she has pissed some powerful people off, okay? So, you know, I don't know, just this kind of stuff interests me, so I'm just, you know, trying to see what's, what's going on, what's going on with them. So, I'll just pick three cards and see. Tell me about the boule. So we know that the general energy or the energy surrounding them is it's, it's bear like you know what I mean it's it's powerful it I can chew you up and spit you out I can knock you around I can get you out my way if I need to all right so we got the tower death and chariot so what I would see okay I mean tower uh, tower upright would you know it'd be like sudden changes but what i i think what ha i mean even though i feel like the boule does bring about certain sudden changes in um you know in um a member's life or sudden changes or you know has a sudden agenda i feel like what they do they don't do it suddenly i think they do it gradually and i hate to bring up Nicki minaj again but she's a she's a good example of this um, I, I like Nicki Minaj. I like her music. I'm a fan of hers. I didn't like her at first, but then I saw an interview about her and um, she, the way she was just talking about women and um, how it is like to be a woman that is a boss and be in a certain position and how you gotta, you gotta be like this sweet, nice person and you can't really be yourself. You can't order people around and make them do the things that they need to do to, you know, propel your success without coming off as a bitch and I saw that interview and I was like oh wow so ever since then I had been really following her career and just watching her moves and I like her fashion and she does the crazy voices you know what I mean I just like that about her 
And then I just noticed how it's kind of like a shift. Like before she was like the queen and she, no, she could do no wrong. And she was on this show and people had her, she was like doing guest appearances. And it's, and it's like, you know, she was doing um, like guest appearances on shows and she was on other people's records and she had hot records and they, it was just Nicki Minaj and she was doing songs with Beyonce. And it's now it's kind of like all these big names are kind of like turning on her. And every, the whole, the new craze is Cardi B. And um, I don't know, I don't like, and I feel like it comes up, the tower, and I say all this to say, because I feel like the, the tower came up in reverse is because I don't feel like it's sudden changes. I feel like they don't move suddenly. I feel like they're very strategic. I feel like they, you know, move slowly. And they, they're like, it, it, they, they, told, they play chess. You know what I mean? They play chess they move pieces out the way and um you know they talk to this person and they move this person here and they say you do this and you go there and i think it's like uh slowly and gradual so when you know what they do is they they propel you to a certain level and then if you don't do what they like and you say something they don't like they slowly strategically take things from you you know what i mean um, so that's why I feel like the tower is coming up in reverse. Um, I feel like with death, you know, death in the upright position is about, um, you know, again, it's sort of like sudden transformations and uh, suddenly you're down and then suddenly you're up. I don't think I don't think they move like that. I think they're very strategic. I think they're very strategic, and I feel like the chariot, even though the chariot. Um, shows movement it shows movement and you know most it, it can show sudden movement but i feel like like i said i don't feel like they move suddenly i don't think they do su things suddenly because when you make a move suddenly it kind of brings attention to you i think they do things they i think they operate like chess players they they're very strategic they're very keen they're very aware they're always watching they're always you know two steps ahead about what move they should make and who they need to have as the new it person and who needs to be in this position and who needs to be this judge and who needs to be this senator you know what I mean I feel like they do that I don't feel like they do it suddenly I think they do it strategically slowly because they don't want to bring about bring attention they don't want to make it too obvious that they are pulling the strings um, you know, they're the powers that be that are pulling the strength. I don't think they do it suddenly because you, you know, you got to keep people brainwashed and, um, not, you know, you just not bringing too much attention to yourself. But I do think that they move and the cherry, I'm feeling like they do move in a certain path. They know where they want to go and what they want to do. They know that if this person is the president, they're going to bring about this agenda and if this person is a judge, they're going to make this, you know, they're going to enforce these rules. So I feel like they move in a way that is not too sudden. They don't make sudden moves. I don't think they do that. Just like Nicki Minaj is a great example of somebody how they're gradually just taking things away from her and gradually, um, you know, close doors or doors are closing gradually in her face people that she could probably call and I'm not this is not a Nicki Minaj, Minaj reading but this is to give an example of how they operate and what I feel like the energy is like people that she could once probably have on speed dial and would come to her in the middle of the night are suddenly ignoring her calls or not ignoring probably just not answering and then you know if she sees them they oh I didn't get that call I didn't see that missed call you see what I'm saying I feel like that's how they move just energetically that's how I feel all right, so let's see what else. Three of Swords, Hangman, and Lovers. I f okay, so with Three of Swords, I feel like it could be a lot of heartache, a lot of heartache. If if you if you, you know get into these secret societies and you don't do what they want you to do and you mess up and you embarrass them or you talk out of turn, they bring a lot of heartache to you, a lot of heartache. And, um, you know, they use all kinds of m manipulation, like mental manipulation to get to you, mental manipulation to make you feel like, um, you know, they, they get into your psyche. I feel like they get into your psyche 
they manipulate um, your mental, your mind state. They um, they cut you down. They can cut you down. You know, they cut you down with words. They cut you down with um, people that you once thought were your friends or no longer your friends. I feel like if you uh, talk and turn to the wrong person, you mess with the wrong person, you piss off the wrong person, you are going to experience the ultimate heartbreak. That's what I feel. Hangman, I feel like they, as far as the hangman I, in reverse, I feel, even the hangman in reverse, the hangman upright to me, I always see it as just being, just, just hanging there, just calm, just collected, just, you know, not making waves, not, um, not, no sudden movements, just, just, you know, just a still energy, just a still energy, just a watchful energy. Um, I feel like they're always there. They watch. They watch you. They, they, um, they, you know, they know all about you. They know who your friends are. They know who your family is. And they know these things about you because if you mess up, if you mess up, you are going to pay the ultimate price. You, you, your heart is going to hurt. If you mess with these people, if you mess with the wrong people, if you piss off the wrong people, they're going to hurt, hurt your heart. They're going to hurt your heart because they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to tear you down, they're going to bring you down, or they're going to hurt somebody or tear somebody down that you love. Lovers, I don't see this in, as a romantic card. I feel like this is sort of, could be like, um, sort of like, um, like kind of how like their rituals are. They, you, you enter a covenant, you enter a covenant, you know, and, and when I see this card, even, you know, you see it, I, I kind of get a mental picture of when you go in for your initiation, it's kind of, you know, everybody's dressed in cloaks and you can't see their faces and they ask you to, they might ask you to draw some blood and you, you know, swipe blood with them or you got to drink somebody's blood or, you know, they, you enter into a covenant, you know, you enter into a covenant with these people. Um, and you enter into this saying that you're gonna put them first, you're not gonna embarrass them, you're gonna always, in everything that you do, you're gonna give honor to them, you're going to respect them, you're going to love them, you're gonna never take your eyes off of them, you're never going to turn your back on them, you're always gonna have the same agenda as them. And you, you enter into a covenant, it's a, it's a soul covenant to me, it's a soul bond, it's a soul, covenant it's um once you enter into this covenant it's, it's no it's no getting out it's no getting out it's it's almost you know it's, it's like a soul tie it, you you gonna sell your soul you're gonna sell your soul and um yeah that's what i feel um let's see what else wheel of fortune queen of cups in reverse Page of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Um, not very surprised that this card comes up because when I feel like with with this uh, boule and these secret societies and this Illuminati and these kinds of um, you know secret groups and everything, it, it, you know it's a Wheel of Fortune. You could be you know if you do what they tell you to do and you enter into this covenant and you. Um, live by this covenant and you live by their rules and you never embarrass them and you never talk out of turn you can you can have all the fortune and fame and power and um, just the best that life has to offer but if you if you don't do what they tell you to do and you embarrass them you piss off the wrong person that when you were on top that wheel of fortune spin and now you're on the bottom that's how I feel. So it's not very surprising to me that the Wheel of Fortune comes up. Queen of Cups. I would say that um, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a icy energy. It's it's kind of like a icy energy. Like uh, normally I would see the Queen of Cups as being in 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 the upright position. I would see a Queen of Cups as being, you know, someone just has a very um, very light attitude about life. They're always happy. They're always smiling. They're cheerful. They're not too emotional. They, they're very um, emotionally mature. 
they, um, you know, they deal with their emotions well. They're not the kind of per. This is in the upright position. Not the kind of person that um, lashes out. They don't have anger. But I feel like in the in in the reverse position, is it, it, it's like an icy energy. It's like a very icy energy. It's like don't 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 think it's a game. Don't think it's a game. Don't think it's always sunshine and rainbows over here. Don't think you can't get fucked up. That's how I feel about it. That's how I feel like the energy is. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as long as you do what I tell you to do, long as you're my pet, long as you're um, making the rule, making rules and regulations that's gonna benefit us, as long as you're not pissing up the high, pissing off the higher ups, you you're good. But don't don't get it fucked up. You know what I mean? Don't don't think that we're best buddies. Don't think that you know you can't get cut down it's not that sweet you know what i'm saying so that's the kind of energy that i feel when i feel like the queen of cups in, when i see the queen of cups in reverse it's like that you know that sunny disposition is the exact opposite it's a icy disposition it's a, you know kind of like a ice queen kind of vibe page of swords in reverse um <clears throat> page of swords in reverse in reverse like I said, as far as the three of swords, um, you know, we 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 know how to mentally manipulate you. We know how to make you feel paranoia. Um, you know, we you know, you if you don't do what we tell you to do, um, we will always mentally remind you exactly what we can do to you if you don't do what we tell you to do. So what I feel like energetically as far as these like secret societies go and like Boule and Illuminati, um, it, it's a lot of, uh, they, they play on their mental, they play on their mental, their, um, they play in their heads, they get into their heads and make them feel like, you know, I feel like they can make you feel like you're the best in the world or they can make you feel like, you know, if you turn that corner, somebody waiting to uh, take you out. Like they get into their mental, you know, it's kind of, you know, brainwashing in a way. Um, so you know, especially for, as, you know, the more powerful that um, you get, the more power that you get, the more wealth that you get, it's like they remind you, we gave this to you, we can take it away. They all, I feel like they're always constantly in, in um, getting in your heads, always reminding you of your place, always letting you know that it's not that sweet. You know what I mean? That's the energy that I feel. Um, you know, like as far as the cards are saying, that's the energy that I feel comes off. It's like you, you, you're gonna enter into this covenant, and we're gonna let you know. We're gonna always let you know that we gave you this, and we can take it away. And it's, n it's nowhere on this earth that you can hide that's going to stop what our agenda is you're either going to get in line or you're going to be shipped out and the way that we take you out you're not going to like it you know what i'm saying and it's no it's nobody on this earth that can help you you see what i'm saying and that's what i feel like the energy is very very icy energy um welcoming and uh quote unquote friendly if you're going with the agenda if you're doing what you told are told to do if you don't step out of line you know what i'm saying but if you do that that friendliness that welcoming that making you feel like you're the best in the world can turn around very quickly turn around very quickly um all right let's see what else queen of wands Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, very fiery, very fiery. Like I said, we'll put you in your place immediately. We'll let you know that we will bring the heat. We will come down on you if you are not doing what we want you to do or doing what we put you in this position to do. If you step out of line, if you start thinking for yourself, we're going to let you know. We're going to let you know this is not a game. It's not a joke. That's just the energy that, um, that you know, comes off to me. Eight of Wands, normally, in the upright position, I would say that it is about, you know, hitting a certain plan, um, you know, um, you know, sort of like a, a business, uh, uh, you know, you're going forth with your plans, um, you're able to kind of get there quickly, 
you're able to stay the course but in reverse I would say that if you um, you know as far as like how they come off to people if if you we have a plan for you and if you and if you step out of line that plan can suddenly change that plan can suddenly you, you know you were supposed to have a certain role and you were supposed to be in a certain on a certain album or you supposed supposed to have a certain seat in a uh, you know in politics but if you step out of line you could quickly be replaced that plan that we had for you could quickly be reversed you know what I mean that's what I feel nine of Pentacles nine of Pentacles in reverse same thing I feel like um, any hard work that you put in any dedication that you put in it all that stuff doesn't matter they don't care about what you did in the past and how dedicated you and loyal you were in the past if you step out of line today it's about what you do today it's about your attitude today it's about you following the agenda today and if you don't do those things all that hard work that you put in all those uh, sleepless nights being in a studio or studying for to be a lawyer all that can be changed in the blink of an eye you know what I mean that's that's how I feel it comes off um, all right, let's see. All right. All right, I'm going to ask. What was the agenda when the boule started? What was their agenda? What was their agenda? Let's see. initial agenda. Mm. Their initial agenda to to give in to your desires to you know because you know back then when uh, W E D Du Bois uh, you know, created this um, entity or whatever. Um, you know, blacks were, I mean, I'm not saying blacks are free now, but even back then, they were even, even less free. So they didn't really have places where they could give into their desires. You know, it was a lot of glass ceilings for um, black people. It still is, but even more so back then. So I feel like they, um, the agenda was to give into your desires. Your, what are, I feel like, you know what I feel like when you when you when you um, try to you know join one of these societies or whatever. I, I feel like they come off and they ask you, what is the one thing that you wish for? Is it beauty? Is it popularity? Is it success? Is it money? Is it all the men? Is it all the women? And I feel like they really focus on your desires. They really focus on your carnal desires. You know, they give you all the drugs that, they, that you want. They give you all the, the best drinks and the best wines and the best foods. And you, you have access to the best tailors, you know. And you have access to the best lovers, the best looking people. You have access to the best doctors to make you, you know, look like a, uh, you know, be a perfect size six or whatever. Like, I, I really feel like when they, I, I feel like, I don't know how it goes if you know if they have this meeting where they invite you in or they feel like you're a good candidate they probably ask you you know if you could have anything in the world what would your wish be and you know you know people focus on their carnal desires they want sex they want money they want drugs they want love you know all those things that can make you um you can be addicted to you know what i mean so i feel like their agenda when um their you know from inception was to allow a certain sector of black people to have access to their desires, to be able to give into their desires, their desires for power, their desires for love, their desires to be the best looking, their desires to be on the screen, on the Hollywood screen, their desires to be um, a best-selling recording artist, you know what I mean? Uh, Empress in reverse and King of Swords. 
um, I feel like the Empress in the upright position is about abundance, fertility, creativity. So in um, so in reverse, I would say that um, you know. It, 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 you know, if you're giving into your carnal desires, you're not really focused on, um, you know, not being abundant. Because when I think of being abundant, I feel like it, it not just financially abundant, but like spiritually abundant. Being filled from your soul, being filled, being able to look at yourself in the mirror, um, you know, having a clear conscience. So I feel like if it, the emperor's in reverse, it's about, it's not really about. Uh, spiritual um, abundance it's, it's more about like um, you know just focusing on you feeding your ego not really feeding your soul um, but feeding your ego you know giving into your physical desires um, King of Swords in, the, in reverse when I think of King of Swords um, you know King of Swords is kind of like that analytical person that analytical logical clear-headed person but I feel like their agenda was not to bring in people that you know question things not somebody that had a mind that said oh you know something like one plus one is two but you're telling me one plus one is four you know what I'm saying they, they don't bring in people who are going to um, who are going to question things who want to know why they, they they don't focus and they don't feel like those are the times of people that they can work with. They can't work with a analytical person who makes decisions based on um, you know analyzing situations and looking at things logically. They they um, bring in people who are more focused on their desires and more so focused on instead of feel, you know um, feeding their souls. They're more so. Um, focus on feeding their egos. Um, that's what I feel like the um, purpose of this boule or Illum black Illuminati was to uh, feed your carnal desires and to only deal with people who were not, who don't think too deeply. They're very surface level people. You know, they're not um, people who even though they might be lawyers or judges or politicians, but they, it's not their agenda is not to be um, in these positions to help other people. It's about helping themselves. So, um, so that's what I feel like as far as why they were created is, and for the main reason to allow black people to give into their physical desires, to allow black people to be the kind of like these soulless beings that just focus on feeding their egos that's what i feel all right let's see if we have any more messages about the boule king of pentacles the high priestess and three of pentacles so when i see that i feel like um you know, I feel like even though they um, may have material, material wealth, and they may have a fleet of cars, and they may have, um, you know, a house here, a house in Europe, a house in Bora Bora, you know, they can fly private, they can, if, you know, they want to certain Italian meal they can just get on a jet and go to Italy and get that meal like they have everything they have you know they have all the latest purses they have all the latest gadgets but it's like they don't have that foundation like you know what they have can crumble because when I think of like pentacles I feel like wealth and success and um, material things that are gained slowly but surely but built on a very solid foundation like when I think of pentacles I feel like all like like if I had to have a phrase it'd be solid foundation and if when I see the pentacles in reverse I feel like a foundation that crumbles that can crumble easily not built on a solid foundation as just as fast as they gave it to you they can take it away like nothing is ever sure with with, with them nothing is ever sure even though you might be the top paid actor 
or actress right now. Don't think that this is going to be forever. Don't think you're always going to be in our good graces. If we need you to do something and you don't do it, um, we that foundation that the, that we gave you, we will take it away. It's it's not solid. It's not you know it's not solid as a rock. It's it's based on you know if you're in their good graces. And high priestess is like <clears throat> you know illusion things that are hidden things that are um well you know well kept secrets or whatever so i feel like in reverse it's like okay if you if you piss somebody off that's high up if you don't do the favors they want you to do if you don't abide by the things that they want if you uh veer off course you know the secrets in your life um, will be revealed. Your most embarrassing details will be revealed. Suddenly somebody from your past, you know, if you're an actress or whatever, and you step out of line, suddenly an old mate from your past will come out and say, yeah, I used to date her and she had an abortion. You know, things that will embarrass you will come out. Um, things that will assassinate your character will come out. It will no longer be a secret. Like they'll hold, like I feel like they'll hold your secrets as long as you do what they tell you to do. If not, that's when they will, I feel like they will either assassinate your body, they will either, and they probably will do that anyway. They probably do that eventually, but I feel like they will do it, like I said before, they'll do it strategically. They won't do it suddenly. First, I think they'll mentally break you down where you're in so much paranoia, like you, you're, you know, you're watching out your window because you think somebody's watching you, and they probably are. So they, they make you, they drive you crazy with paranoia, which is going to drive you to drink and drive you to take drugs. And I think that's what happens a lot with these um, celebs and these people in power is that they piss off somebody, they made somebody mad, and suddenly they're in their psyche. They're getting calls in the middle of the night, watch your back. They have somebody standing out their window, looking out their window to get, into their, get, to, get to them mentally, to break them down mentally. I feel like if you step out of line with these people, they break you down mentally first. They have you so paranoid that you don't care how many drugs that you take. You, you're taking drugs just to um, be able to sleep at night. So you are not watching your back. Like you can't sleep without taking drugs because you're so scared and you're watching your back. That's what I think. That's what I feel like they do to people. Um, and then once, one, you know, if the drugs don't kill you, if the drinking doesn't kill you, if you don't kill yourself, then they'll eventually take you out. So I feel like, like I said before, I feel like they they do things strategically. They don't they, they don't do things fast. You know what I mean? They don't just take something away suddenly. If I feel like if you see something happen to one of these people, one of these celebs, one of these people in power, this wasn't a sudden move. This wasn't a sudden move. This was, okay, you've been doing this for this long. You've been not doing what we told you for this long. So, you know, behind the scenes, they suddenly break you down. You know what I mean? They Little by little, they're putting something in your drink. Um, little by little, you're getting notes. You're, so you're starting to have paranoia. Then you start having mental breakdowns. That's what I do. I feel like they, they break these people down little by little. You know what I mean? That's what I feel happens. Um, I mean, that's what I pretty much feel. Like, I feel like, I feel like the boule is a very, um, very strategic, very strategic. Um, I feel like you, people get in there in these societies and they get these positions and they think everything is sweet and they got all everything they ever desired. They got the car they want, they got the house that they want, they got the spouse that they want and you know everything is good as long as they're doing what they're you know what they're told to do. Um, but as soon as they piss the wrong person off or they make you know they don't follow directions or they start speaking out or they you know start warning people then strategically they start taking things away from you. They start breaking you down mentally. So they break you down mentally. So you're either going to end up dry, drinking yourself to death, uh, overdosing on drugs, you'll, or you'll physically kill yourself, suicide, gunshot, whatever, whatever. And if that doesn't work, if you're you know strong enough to pull out through that and get rehab and try to bounce back and try to build your own foundation you know you ever notice how celebs they start you know getting all spiritual and everything I feel like because they seen so much uh, so much nastiness they've seen so many people destroyed that it just 
they say, okay, I'm just, I'm leaving this. And I, I feel like once you, like that, that lover's card that came up, once you get into this, there is no getting out. You don't get out alive. You might think you get out alive. Like you ever notice how celebs, they'll have this career and at the end of their career, they're just like home with the families and this, that, and the other. And then they kind of, you start seeing them again and they're kind of saying how they've been introduced back to God and they're being spiritual and they're meditating. I feel like that's, I feel like that's the beginning of the end. I seriously feel like that's the beginning of the end for them. Cause it's like, they feel like they have been able to get out unscathed. And then you realize you, you see, and then they ha start having these revital, their career starts to be revitalized and then they're taken out. So it's, it's like they, 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 I feel like they just mentally fuck with them. They just mentally fuck with them to the point where they may think that, oh, they, they probably send them to rehab and think, okay, we're glad you're getting cleaned up. You know, just making them think and it's making them think that everything is sweet and then they take them out. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. And it's a covenant. It, it, you, once you get into this, I don't care if you're at the lowest level. Once you get into this, there is no getting out. There's no getting out. It's a blood covenant. It, you know what I mean? It's a it's it's um it's a soul covenant, you know what I mean? Um so yeah, that's what I think about the boule. Um this video is a little long, but you know, this kind of stuff interests me and I'll post some articles and um I will see you guys next time. Please like comment subscribe let me know what you think if you i mean i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get some hate or whatever but it's cool i i, I welcome it all i wel welcome the dialogue i'm interested in how you feel about it all right so i will see you next time bye